He's had a great game. Um, he's, he's earned that position. And, um, you know, it's just kind of remarkable watches his, his progression through the OTAs, then through training camp. And, you know, fighting for that spot, you know, because as we all know, Sadiq Charles was in competition with him. And then when Sadiq left, you know, Dylan just took it over. And uh, his confidence has grown. Uh, his techniques have improved. And uh, just his overall game and pass protection um, has gotten better, you know. So it'll be a great challenge in the Bear game on Sunday to, to see where he's at exactly. Uh, it'll be a great challenge, you know, against their front. But uh, I'm awfully proud of where he's come from, where he's where he's improved, and you know all the things that he's learned and, and taken out to the games that he's played in the preseason. You know, watching their front, uh, Coach Eberflus, a good friend, known him for a long time. We worked together in Dallas. I know what his DNA is all about. Uh, it's all about stopping the run. Uh, that's first and foremost in their philosophy. So it'll be a great challenge to, to go in there and, and, and try to pound against them. Uh, they, they're established, they're renowned, you know, across the league for their ability to stop the run. So I guess the challenge starts right there. And of course, you know, their pass rush has been incredible over the last year. You know, with the addition of Montez uh, over on the edge, that's a huge addition for them. Uh, really good, has upgraded their pass rush significantly. Um, remember when I was in Washington, we had drafted Montez as a rookie. Yeah, and he was just coming into his own then. And to watch him now, boy, his, his game is at a whole different level, an elite level at that. JC seems like the kind of guy who demands perfection from himself. How do you hone in a rookie like that who's going to be starting? Yeah, it's, it's really fun to watch JC work. You know, he's, he's so consumed with, with being a, a perfectionist and having everything down, you know, uh, techniques, assignments. Uh, uh, nuances in terms of the adjustments, you know, it's, it's all new. So he's going to get, you know, not only uh, by their pass rushers in their front, but, you know, the thing that the Bears do so well uh, is they, they stir the front. And that means there's a lot of games, there's a lot of activity, slants, stunts, movement that you've got to adjust to. And, and that's the name of the game in the NFL. You've got to be, be ready to block, but it's easy when a guy's just lined up over you. But when they're moving and stemming in and out of fronts, you know, that's where the challenge becomes. And especially for a rookie like him, you know, to, to take a, a high-level defensive front that the Bears are, and put him against that and make him learn all these adjustments, that's been a huge, huge challenge. So uh, we've worked extensively at trying to hone all those adjustments. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how he does. But I, I'm excited about him, you know, just watch him play. Uh, I think and, that, and, uh, and Tracy have all been talking about asking their pass rushers really to have a fastball and a change job mm -hmm. and not, not to, to go crazy with the repertoire. Do you find the best pass rushers to be kind of simple that way or to have a, a wide array? Uh, I think it's a great question. And, uh, yeah, I think you already alluded to it. They do have a fastball, you know, and that's where it all starts, you know, and then they throw their change-ups. You know, and the, what are those change-ups off the speed to power move? Well, it'll be an inside counter spin or it'll be an outside long arm to a rip. Uh, so for the fans out there, everything is like, you know, coming attacking an offensive lineman straight down the middle. And then all the different moves that come off of that rush, you know. So a lot of league, a lot of teams around the league establish the speed to power move. And then they come at you with the edge. Then they come at you with the double move up and inside. They have the spins. And then they have all the different chop counters that they use. So... It's really like a, a battle of martial arts out there. We always talk about uh, getting a quarterback into their groove, but is there something to be said to getting your unit, your offensive line into a groove, into a rhythm as well? I think so. I think that, you know, for, for us, anytime you can get into a rhythm and start with a good opener, opening drive, and try to feed off of that. And if you're not, you're just going to come back and, and do it again and try to gain your confidence as, you, as the game goes on. It's a long game. Uh, but this will be interesting. This is an interesting challenge, you know, on the road with a young offensive line. Uh, you know, even even for like JC and for Peter and, and Lloyd all playing together for the first time, that communication in the noise is really, really critical. So we're going to get tested from at that aspect, aside from everything else that's going to challenge us. So we got our hands full. That opening drive, having that be successful, like how critical is that to, you know, a young group like, like what you guys have on the line? Yeah, I think it's key. I think it's just the start of the game, you know, Four quarters is a long time, but anytime you can start out fast, you know, and finish strong, I think that's the goal of any team, you know. And uh, to get on the road and put something together and mount an opening drive, it's huge. 
Yeah, but it's not the end of the world. You know, you're going you're gonna to have another opportunity. You're going to have eight to ten drives a game, you know, to prove yourself. So what's important is not only how you start, but how you finish at the end. What are your feelings about seeing your son make his regular season head coaching debut in a place that obviously means so much to all of you? Yeah, I think it's, I think it's fun. You know, it's, like, it's family's there and, uh, you know, grew up there, have a lot of friends, you know, a lot of memories. And, uh, of course, that was my team growing up. It is no longer. But, um, no, it's, it's fun. Chicago's a great place. It's, it's, it's a great city to be from. Uh, it's, it's a little bit surreal in one way, but in another, I haven't been there in over 40 years, you know, so I've been a coaching gypsy for a while. What high school did you go to? Went to Mendel Catholic High School on the south side. Thanks, Coach. Okay. One of the highest paid cornerbacks in history, so, uh, you know, we got some good receivers over here. They got a good secondary, good D-line, so I'm just going down to execute there's already reports that you're not going to be available for this game. How do you answer that report? What are your thoughts on that? I don't watch reports. I just go out and practice, so I guess we'll see Sunday. How have you felt this week in practice? Uh, I felt, felt good. felt great. How does it happen going into a new offense like this? Having missed a lot of time. Mm -hmm. is, that, is that a challenge coming back this week? No, nah, not really. I play a lot of football, so uh, it's not a challenge. What was the process like, Hop, when you went to kind of rehab and get better and do you feel like it's put you in a good position now or still working uh, I think it's put me in a great position. Uh, this organization trusted me to go to California and rehab uh, with some experienced people, uh, with guys who deal with this injury all the time. So, uh, you know, just taking it day by day, but uh, I feel great. Different team than the one you played on last year for the better. Mm -hmm. you, you like the changes? You feel like there's good energy? Uh, it's great energy. I think everyone is, uh, you know, the additions that we brought in, I think everyone is buying in. Uh, everyone has the same goal. You know, people came from different teams, but you can't tell that we haven't played together for years. And uh, signs of a good football team. I mean, I ain't calling the plays, you know what I mean? So, Denard, obviously, he has a way of how he want to attack and how he wants to go about it. But um, I think for me, you know, just try to make – Things as difficult as you can for him. Um, just as any way it was a vet quarterback, you know what I mean? Obviously, he's going to, you know, have some first game jitters, I'm sure. But, like, at the end of the day, you know, you just go out, play our game, and, you know, uh, just try to get out there everybody, you know what I mean? Get out to all 11 while we can. The Bears have really revamped their receiving core. Of course, Keenan Allen, James Jones. What do you see when you look at the way those guys run routes and make her threats on all I mean, they're a really good trio. You know what I mean? They got two good tight ends also. So, um, very good receiving core. Um, obviously, you got vet, vet guys in Keenan um, and, and, uh, and DJ. And then you got the Rook with Rome. And, you know, I've watched all of them a lot. You know what I mean? Me being in Seattle, I got to see a lot of Rome. So, um, been watching those guys a lot. So, um, it'll be be good good battle for us. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. When I used to play nickel, you know, when I played nickel, we got we had some battles, and we played against each other in college also. So um, definitely, you know, I love I love Keenan, great guy. What's the feeling putting on a different uniform going into Sunday, and you know, being a Titan for right. real? Uh, it's different, you know what I mean. But I mean, it's not the first time I changed uniforms, you know what I mean. So. At least this time I had some time to adjust. In Seattle, it was like I was thrown in the fire, traded midway through the season. So um, it's been good, though. Thank you. Yep. No. All right, they got, they got a really good uh, defensive backcore. You know, Stevenson, you know, Johnson, Brisker. You know, they're all really good. But I feel like we, we have a good uh, chance to get after them. He's like, um, they led the league in turnovers last year. So that's a big thing for us this week is just taking care of the football and knowing these guys are really aggressive. And, you know, just got to be really clean with our routes and getting separation so, you know, they can't get their hand on the ball. Uh, we were just hearing about how Vanette has kind of brought a, a bit of a veteran presence to what is still a young tight end room. What's it been like having him along in your group? He's been good, man. He's always just encouraging us, you know, always giving us, like, little tidbits that he's learned out throughout his whole career. And it's good to see a guy like that, you know, who always, like, has a routine, and it just really shows you, like, how to be a pro. I feel like it's really good for the younger guys in our room, and I'm still a young guy, too, so I can also learn from him, too, with all that stuff. What excites you about this offense and the roles the tight ends could have? Ah, oh, man, just being able to, to get out there, man, and really showcase our talent, you know, in, in every aspect. I feel like in this offense, we're running, you know, running the ball a lot, as you saw in the preseason, but we also have you know, a big route tree for the tight end position that we can, you know, use our creativity to get open. And we're going to be throwing the ball a lot more, so it should be a lot of fun. Thank you.
problem. Sorry, guys. Think that is, and uh, how important is it for your guys' defense to go and rattle a rookie quarterback? Uh, in uh, yeah, I mean it's, you know, the NFL's tough, right? It's the best guys, the best of the best in the business. Um, you know, they'll learn. Rookies will learn. I've had plenty of rookies uh, start as rookies, not on opening day. Maybe Mac Jones, but you learn a lot. Uh, maybe you just kind of progress. How has that install process been this week? You working with Will and Mason like and Coach Kelly? Yeah, it's our first game. Been great you know we go we have our meetings in the morning um and then we you know we take it out to the practice field and we'll come back here and this afternoon clean some things up and kind of move on to that next phase has will been very like demonstrative on what he likes what he doesn't for this game yeah he's involved in the plan and uh you know we're very open to you know it's all about how making these guys it's all about us this week um and coming out playing fast yes, playing comfortable Randy Jordan also Maybe compared to other quarterbacks you've worked with, just how involved is Will? Is it more than normal, or is it kind of just a regular involvement? Don't oh, know. He's he's working. He's been working his tail off since I've met him. So I'm I'm really excited to see him go out on Sunday and have a have a good day.